Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, hopefully, some folks jump on to say what's up and just hang out, look to say hi. Um, but yeah, this is this is my first extremely live event. So um, yeah, I'm kind of excited. Uh, let me actually take off the notifications off my phone because if not, it's just gonna keep on making weird noises, and I'm sure that would be a a little annoying. Hey, what's going on? Square 1986, what's going down? Good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, actually, uh, good afternoon for me. Good morning probably where you're at, though. Uh, oh, my man, Adrian, what's going on, my brother? I know I'm not in training. I should be ashamed of myself, right? No. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, this is the first... Uh, live streamly that I am doing right now. Uh, I made myself available so that folks can get prints uh, from anywhere in the world. That's the beautiful thing about Streamly is that they do have worldwide shipping, which is pretty darn awesome, I gotta say. So it doesn't really matter where you're at. If you want to print, you can absolutely get one without worrying about, you know, having to go to, uh, <laughs> go to a con to see me, uh, which I will be doing more of. I will be going to more cons, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for those news. I will I, for that news. I will be making my way out into the world a little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, oh, Adrian, you've been out all week. Ooh, ooh, I feel you, man. My knees, my knees are destroyed right now. <laughs> it, that's that's probably like the, the the funniest thing is that like uh, for those that don't know, I do um, I uh, I train Muay Thai. Um, and Adrian is one of my buddies and um, oh hey what's up Jen thanks for stopping by and saying hi for anybody who's interested make sure you check out uh, Jen's Streamly event she'll be having one soon uh, for those that don't know she is the voice of Asana in Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens she's actually uh, my the the leader of the group that I my character Shubel is a part of the Heavy Cavalry Duel Club so make sure you check out her Streamly if you get the chance she's a Awesome, awesome individual, uh, good friend of mine, and um, super stoked to see that she's uh, she's doing signings too. And she's actually making her way through the con circuit too. So if you happen to go to a con, um, make sure you check out Jen. She's an absolute sweetheart. So make sure you uh, check her out. You know what I mean? Um, oh, ooh, I I know, Adrian. I sh I should go hard next week, but I'm actually on vacation next week, so I'm not even gonna be. I'm not even going to be here. So it's like I did half a week last week and I'm not doing any training or at least Thai training uh, this coming week. I'm going to be, I will be going to the gym at the hotel. Probably not, but I'm going to say that I am and hopefully I make my way out. <laughs> oh man. Don't spotlight you. Why not, Jen? That's what it's all about. We all got to show the love, man. We're all, we're all out here. We're all doing things. We all deserve the, uh, all deserve the attention and you got you got loads of talent my, 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 my girl so you deserve it you deserve it all right cool so far let me just double check uh, over here right now so I can see who has uh, who got themselves a print so we do have um, so we got one one print here hey what's going on mark my man how you doing brother um, for those that don't know, my buddy, uh, Mark Carrietta, awesome audiobook narrator. Make sure you check out his work as well. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Uh, good friend of mine as well. Up in the, uh, up in the north, in, in Canada. Uh, he also got a rocking motorcycle. So, a little jealous of that. I used to have a motorcycle, but, uh, I had to get rid of it. You know, I had to get rid of it. it. It was one of those things where it's like when you own a motorcycle, you really got to. And it's not that I didn't love it or anything. I did. I did. I did enjoy it. It's just it's a lot of upkeep. And if you don't have the weather to accompany it, I, for those that don't know, I'm in New York. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's either too windy or it's too rainy or snowy or this and that and the other. There's just too many factors. There's too many things going on that could go wrong that can kind of ruin it. Now, I should not be a punk because there are many, many all-season riders in New York, but, you know, it is what it is. Not only that, but also finding um, the opportunity to ride and, like, going somewhere for, you know, for, for everybody that knows I'm a dad. So, I got a big family. If I'm on my motorcycle, 
that means I'm not really taking anybody with me. So kind of makes it difficult to, um, to, you know, to get around that way. Uh, but I always used it to go, uh, to, to, to go to friends' houses, or if I just felt like taking a ride, sometimes it's a nice way to clear your head. So I do have a, um, I do have one signing here. And uh, which is very interesting because the reason that I did this live event was because of uh, was because of uh, Mika, the character I voice in Genshin Impact, and uh, the 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 signing that I have up here is actually for one of my uh, for my uh, one of my my first character actually my first big character which was Yuki Maru. Yukimaro, and this one is going to be for uh, William. Um, I see there's uh, no special instructions, so I'm gonna write it, uh, write whatever uh, I like here. So I'm gonna try and make it cool. I want to make sure I pick a proper color here. It's a slightly dark print. Um, don't want to use the blue. I think that'll be a little dark. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go with the white. For those that do. For those that do con signings, y'all already know I'm rocking the uh, Pasca water-based. Can't go wrong with these. Always nice. Uh, I agree, Jen. I agree. This is this is one hell of a print. For those that don't know, this one was done by my homegirl, a mangaka from New York. Her name is Katie Fox. She's an awesome, awesome artist. And... Um, I think she's, uh, she's at a con right now, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I remember I saw she was doing a, I think a panel not too long ago. But definitely check uh, her work out. She's actually really, really awesome. Does incredible work. Uh, I think she's done a couple of Chainsaw Man uh, prints as well for um, for my buddy uh, Ryan, Ryan Colt Levy, who's the voice of Denji in Chainsaw Man. So I think she's done a print for him as well. I think she's done a, also like a pin. Uh, but check her out, KD Fox. She's a um, really, really, really great artist. So I highly recommend if you're interested in looking at uh, that kind of work. So let me just sign this one real quick. Knock this bad boy out. Uh, thanks for jumping on, Demon Nick. Or unless that's a play on words and it's demonic, in which case, very clever. All right. Trying to get this marker to work. But, um, yeah, I'm glad everybody's jumping on. Oh, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, bud. But, yeah, if anybody uh, has any questions or anything you want to ask, please do. If you're just jumping on and say what's up. What's up? Drinking my trusty lemon lime seltzer water. Don't drink your calories, folks. Don't drink your calories. Ah, there we go. Got the marker working finally. There you go. Try not to... See, the hard thing about some prints is that it's really tricky uh, trying to figure out where you want to sign it, where you don't ruin the picture because it's such a good picture. You don't want to, like, write too much and then mess it up. You know what I mean? Uh... Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah, Mika was actually a really fun character uh, to play. It was it was interesting because um, I've said it in a couple of interviews. You know, when I when I auditioned for Mika, I was not expecting I was not expecting to book that one. Um, I really wasn't. But then again, you know, when you when you do as many auditions as I do, you kind of you you, you kind of get a feel for which ones you're probably going to book which ones you're probably not, and then you have those handful that you're like, I'm definitely not gonna get this one, and then you end up booking those. And Mika was definitely one of those. Um, mainly because, um, not because so much that I didn't think I could do the character as much as it was a, it's not a, it's not a, a character that I do often. You know, it's not, it's not one of my normal stable of characters. It is a voice that I've had, uh, that I have in my toolbox, so like I could bring them out whenever I want, but it, it's not one that I ever really get booked for. So it is one though that I have been 
using more often recently uh, in trying to book new uh, uh, younger characters uh, and this was the first big one that I happened, uh, I happened to land so thank you I'm glad you appreciate it I'm glad you uh, uh, like like how Mika turned out I think he turned out pretty awesome he's I mean it's kind of hard not to like him he's he's a very adorable character uh, for sure uh, let's see, Rob, I'm going to ask Mike and Annie if we should get a heavy cavalry print made. I think it would be adorable. Or you, Shuba, with pitch trap. Oh, that would actually be awesome. Well, funny that you mention it, Jen, because I do actually have a Shubel print uh, already made. I actually think this one came out really awesome. This one was done by uh, my homie, Sia Boron. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic. Check them out on uh, Twitter, at... Uh, you could see it here, Sia Boron, C-Y-A-B-O-R-O-N. Uh, I think they're working on um, either uh, their own animation or or a comic. I think I think it's like a full-on animation though, but they do really really wicked work. Um, but I actually, <laughs> I, I kind of told them I'm, I'm I'm gonna be using them strictly for my Yu-Gi-Oh prints because I love their style. Um, though I did get them to do a Mika print too because. Again, I like their work. Uh, this is an oldie of Bronk from Duel Links that I did a while ago. Um, and then, uh, who else? Oh, right. And then, of course, Professor Diggs. This one actually came out really awesome. The Super T-Rex uh, looks, Super King Rex, I believe. Super King Rex. Uh, came out really cool. I like this one. Yeah, this one came out pretty dope. Um, but yeah, all of these all of these actually came out really, really nice. But... Um, yeah, the shoe shoe bells actually came out really cool. I love the the color combo of the blue and the kind of purple. I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, so um, strike. Let me finish signing this one real quick. There we go. Dope. Cool. There you go. Four. That's to you, William. I mean, I know it, it shows up backwards because it's on the selfie camera, but there you go. That's for you, bud. Dope. That one came out really cool. So I'm going to keep this one over yonder so I don't forget. And also so I could let the marker dry a little bit because it's because it's a pink marker. It gets a little uh they take a little bit a, a, a little bit to dry. But yeah. Awesome. You're welcome, Willem. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you uh jumping on and uh asking asking for a print. It's awesome. And uh I like that it's a Yukimaru one. I think that's cool. It's a character I hold very near and dear to my heart. Uh, you know, it's a first first big anime role for me, which uh, for those that actually, I don't know if it, how many of you know or look through my pictures, who, uh, as you can see, is pretty important. Got him here. Got him tattooed on my arm. Sorry. Nobody gets to, to get that one. Only I do. <laughs> that one's for me. Uh, hey, Kite, greetings. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for jumping on and saying hello. Much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be here for the next uh, about 45 minutes. Man, that's already been 14 minutes. That went by fast. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be here for the next 45 minutes or so. If anybody's interested in buying a print, you absolutely can. Just head to streamily.com slash Rob with two Bs, Moreira. Uh, same thing as you see uh, on my uh, user there. Just leave out the VO part. So it's just Rob Moreira, just my name. Uh, streamily.com slash Rob Moreira. You'll see all the prints there available. Um, I'll go through them all right now. So you can see I do have them all in hand. So if you get one, I'll be able to uh, sign it for you uh, right now, actually. Hey, what's up, Luis? How's it going, buddy? Uh, another very good voice actor as well. Make sure you check out Luis. Good buddy of mine. Um, nice to see him making the rounds as well. Thanks for coming by. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. That is, that, it is a very cool tattoo. Um, uh, this was actually done by uh, Michaela Botten. She's a very, uh, very popular anime-specific uh, tattoo artist. She's uh, located now in Florida. And um, 
uh, I believe the tattoo shop she works with is called uh, Sad. I think it's called Sad Fam. Uh, but definitely check them out. I mean, it's it's a tattoo shop of just incredible, um, incredible anime tattoo artists. I mean, every one like they just all do incredible work. So I think they're ju I think they're in Orlando or just outside of Orlando. I don't know, but they're they're in they're in Florida. Uh, but definitely check them out if you're looking to get an anime tattoo. They're the ones to do. She actually did that one. Um, I'll, I'll show you both of them. So she did Yukimaru, and she also did Duo, uh, for those Gundam Wing fans out there. Uh, Gundam Wing was actually the first anime that I really kind of gravitated to when I was, um, uh, oh, it's all good. It's all good. If, if, if you can't, if you can't get a print right now, it's fine. The Extremely is actually available all, all, at all times. Um, it's just right now, anything that you order, I'll sign live on the spot. Anything else though, if you want to order it later on, you can order it later on and I can sign it, uh, off camera. Or if you want it with a, uh, with a video, um, I could do it with a video as well. And so you can see me sign it for you. So it's up to you. Um, you can you can do it whenever you like. So it's all good. Uh, Jen, did the order go through? Um, yes, it did. Yes, it did. I like whatever you want to write. Sounds good. <laughs> yes, it did go through, Jen. Though, so awesome. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, man. And uh, I'll make sure I get that signed for you. No problem. And uh, let's see, got a couple people jumped on. Hey, everybody, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, I see my cousin. What's up, Raf? Thanks for jumping on, man. Appreciate you. Um, let me just sign this up real quick. And um, let me write this down. There we go. But, um, yeah, again, thanks. Thank you, everybody, for... Um, for jumping on this is a uh, really cool actually uh, really enjoy this uh, another great thing about doing these streamlies is that um, because they have worldwide shipping it doesn't actually matter where you're located because um, the shipping is included and you, you can be anywhere streamly actually takes care of the uh, shipping for me which is really nice so if you are states bound or not it's all good, you know. You can still uh, hop on and um, uh, order your print, and they'll get that taken care of and shout out a shout over to you, which is really, really, really dope. Um, so I'm gonna complete that one, sweet, cool. And I'm uh, Jen. Before I sign yours, real quick, I'm just gonna cycle through all of them so everybody can see all the prints that I do have available. I'm gonna show yours last because that's the one that I'm gonna sign. Um, so yeah, so this one is uh, Professor Diggs from Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Uh, you got the Super King Rex in the background, as you can see. He looks really cool. Nice little color combo. Really dig that. Then we have another Yu-Gi-Oh! character, but this is from Duel Links. I specifically voiced him in the uh, mobile game Duel Links. So this is Bronx Stone with the Archton Duke in the background, as you can see. A couple of gears. Um, then we got, uh, let me go to the smaller prints, say with the small prints, then we got Miko over here in his attack position. As you can see, this is a really nice print, really nice colors. And then we have Chibi Mika, who's super cute. He looks adorable. It's funny, I showed this one to my daughter. She was like, he looks like a girl here. And I was like, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He looks cute. He's a cute little, cute little fella. And we got another Mika print, which is really awesome. This was just an absolutely incredible job at Alina Lal uh, on Instagram. Uh, pfft, let me tell you, man, this this print is just it printed so well. It really did. It printed so well. It came out top notch. Um, oh yeah. So then I also you guys already saw me sign this one for my buddy William, uh, which is the Yukimaru print, which is just. Pfft, this one is just sick. Crazy uh, fact, too, is that this one, uh, the uh, Katie, she banged this one out in like a like a day. Like, <laughs> like she just rocked this one in like one night, uh, just to show you. Uh, oh, yeah, Chibi, Chibi Mika. No, me, enc me encanta esta, esta foto para, para, que, para que lo vean. Mira que lindo. Ay, tan chiquito. <laughs> Uh, sí, pero esa foto me encanta mucho. 
Um, and then I got the big old 11 by 17. As you can see, this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, this one's bigger than the others because these are the uh, 8 by 10s. And that's 11 by 17, uh, which is just a totally rocking, rocking picture. Look at that thing. And if you see it in person, I mean, in person, it's it's just a, a wi wicked, wicked. I mean, th this one is really nice to like kind of frame and keep it in the background. Actually, I'm probably gonna do that. I, I want to put up all my prints. Truth be told, it's just at this point I have so many now, <laughs> and I can only see myself getting more. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, that one I feel like I have to put up. It's just so nice. And then last but not least, yeah, Mika Chiquito. Let's see. <laughs> Y me encanta esto también. Los, los detalles que tiene. Es increíble. But, um, but yeah, so besides that, and then last, but certainly not least, for my homie Jen, the Shoe Bell Quill. I mean, this one came out really, really dope. Uh, you know, I'll just kind of come in a little bit just so you can see uh, just all the details. I mean, it's just incredible, incredible details overall. Um, but yeah, but yeah, see a boron. They did top notch, top notch. Um, cool. Let me get a, let me get a color here. See what color do I want to do since I can write whatever I want. And, um, I'm going to do it in any color that I want. Uh, let's do it. You know what? I'm going to do it in the get more green for those that don't know. Get more Moreira, that is my branding. That's on my, you see that on my website. If you go to my website, I have that black and green kind of aesthetic going on, black, gray, and green. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna hit you with the get more green. Uh, put that on, uh, put that one on here for you. But, um, cool, let's see. Let me just, I'm just making some notes here just so I make sure I know what print I got for who. And, um, there we go. Cool. Just making some notes for myself. But yeah, as I said, make sure you head to streamly.com slash Rob Moreira. That's Rob with two B's, Moreira. And uh, you can check out all the prints that I have on there. And if you want to get one now, you can get one now. If you want to get one at another time, you absolutely can. There's no, uh, no rush. All the prints are always available. I keep them on hand, so I have all of them available uh, at any time. So it was funny. I was gonna put on. Uh, for those that don't know, I'm a big Animals as Leaders fan. I was gonna put that on instead. I put on some lo-fi music. I figure that's safe, so that I don't get like copyright stricken or something. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this live social stuff works. It feels like you put on one song and then like you end up <laughs> you end up getting end end up getting your video struck for whatever reason. Cool. All right, so let's get this marker going. I think that's good. I think I shook it enough times. No death metal. <laughs> I would put death metal, but then either I get too into it, and then I won't be paying attention to the chat, or I uh, won't. Oh, death metal lo-fi. Is there death metal lo-fi? I don't think I've ever looked. I've seen hip-hop. Does that even make sense? I feel like that's like an oxymoron. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to do a search now. Is there death metal lo-fi? I feel like that's... No, there can't be. Lo-fi. Oh, there is! There's lo-fi deathcore. What? What? No way. Guess I gotta put it on. I gotta put it on. Oh, but this isn't... Wait, is it lo-fi? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it is. I mean, like, I see actual bands here. Like, I see Thy Art is Murder. I see Whitechapel, Fit for an Autopsy. I think these are just regular songs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this is it. Because this looks like this is coming from their actual albums. Yeah, I don't think these are lo- uh, Yeah, these aren't lo-fi at all. Now, I got- Yeah, there's a lot of Whitechapel on here. And I see some that I've already favorited. So, no, those aren't lo-fi. Somebody was just messing with people. <laughs> I think they just made a- They just made a deathcore playlist they wanted people to click on. 
as far as I can tell. Oh man, that would be cool though. I would, I, I would actually really dig to see it. <laughs> Lo-fi, <laughs> Lo-fi, deathcore. That'd be interesting. Music. It's a wild topic to to me. It, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's for sure. Um, I, I like to, I like to think that my taste in music runs a, a healthy gamut. I definitely won't say I like everything. I'm not, I'm not one, uh, and I wouldn't say I'm, I like everything, but I like. I can find a song or two in a specific style, at least, that I enjoy. But there are styles that I specifically tend to stick to. Like, I really love progressive metal stuff. Progressive in general is really cool. Rock, death metal, anything under kind of the rock umbrella, I'm, I'm mostly a fan of. Um, I love Spanish music. I'm a big merengue fan. Bachata, salsa. I love old school salsa specifically. I do have to differentiate, especially the... Uh, New York 70s, 80s OG salsa. That that's like kind of like my era that I really enjoy because uh, I feel like that's where you really got a lot of those um, really awesome kind of jazz elements uh, s uh, mixed with the uh, the uh, the Afro kind of Cuban beat, which is really uh, which was really prominent in that time. So I'm a big fan. So like the Willie Colons and the uh, Hector Lavoe's. Johnny Pacheco, Ray Barreto, you know those guys are all they're all pretty dope. Pretty much any under the, anybody under the Fania umbrella is pretty dope. Alright, Jen, I got my got uh, looks like the marker's flowing. So here we go. Awesome. Cool. So that one is done. There you go, Jen. That one is for you. So just for you, it says to Jen slash Asana, Pitch Trap, and I will follow you anywhere. Cuckoo. There you go. That's Pitch Trap right there. Cuckoo. So you got. I even threw a little pigeon in there. Because for those that don't know, Shubel speaks fluent pigeon because of his uh, because of Pitch Trap. Pitch Trap being his older brother. If you didn't know, Pitch Trap is not his pet. Pitch trap is actually his older brother. So yes, that that pigeon is his older brother. So yeah. So yay! I'm gonna put that off to the side. Make sure that dries. Make sure that Williams dried appropriately. Yes, it did. So I will put that over here to my completed my completed pile. And. Uh, Cool. All right, so I got that one completed. Oh, I see that you also put it with a with a video, Jen. So I'll make sure to include that as well. Awesome. Cool. But that one is assigned. Cool. Awesome. So yeah. So once I make that video, I'll I'll, I'll shoot that over to you because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get a personalized video. You're welcome. Oh, Danny, what's going on, dude? Another for the, an another good voice acting f voice actor friend of mine. For those that don't know, my buddy Danny Kramer. He uh, he's actually also going to be hosting another. Uh, you know, I, he did do extremely recently, but he might have another one on deck soon enough. He does them fairly regularly. Uh, but for those that don't know, Danny, he is also in Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens. We got a whole Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens reunion. It looks like. <laughs> <laughs> but Dandy, he is the voice of Caterpillio in Yu-Gi-Oh! 7, so make sure uh, you check out Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 to listen to all of us. But he's also the voice of Galactus in Marvel Snap. How cool is that? 
Um, which is which is really dope. Uh, for anybody who hasn't played the game, just overall, it's a very addicting game. It's it's and I think it's addicting in its simplicity. You know, it's not a difficult game to kind of just pick up and learn how to play. It's actually <laughs> really simple. Uh, but I had a lot of fun playing it um, when I can. I, don't, I, I try to not be on my phone too long, especially because I do work on it. I'm usually sending emails and such, and then social media, which to a degree is kind of like work also. Uh, so I try not to also play on my phone too much. I usually do it at night just to just to you know kind of chill and stuff. But. Um, but yeah, Marvel Snap, really fun game. But yeah, so make sure you check out Marvel Snap and um, maybe you'll you'll come across the world eater, Galactus. Uh, and if you do, that's my buddy Danny. Yeah, so thanks for jumping on the chat, brother. Let's see, how much... Uh, oh, we're at 131. We got about 29 minutes left to go. Um, if anybody's still interested in getting, uh, getting any prints... Uh, let me actually uh, put it up on Twitter real quick so I can send a uh, quick tweet letting everybody know that we are live at the moment. Um, but if you do want to uh, get a, get yourself a print, head to streamily.com slash Rob with two V's, Moreira, uh, no V-O. Obviously, just Rob Moreira, just my name, and you'll see all the prints that are available. I can either sign it for you right now on the spot, or uh, you can get something later on if you want to favorite the um, favorite my shop. So you can come back at another time. You could get a print with a personalized video. I could do that, or if you just want the print itself, then I can just kind of sign that off camera. I could do that anytime, and then uh, Streamly will. Get, uh, take care of send that, sending that over to you. Um, and uh, again, Streamly is really cool because it doesn't matter where you're located, um, but they will uh, ship worldwide, which is very convenient. I was just letting the letting the masses know on Twitter. Oh, uh, there we go. Cool. So yeah. Um, oh hey, what's going on? Hopping on MidCon to say hi. You're the bomb. Hi, how are you enjoying it? How is it out there? I assume you're at the Weeb, WeebCon? The one in Dallas, right? Is that where you're at? Uh, let me know how it's going out there. Um, I, I think uh, I think I know a couple of people that are out there right now, but I know WeebCon is, um, that's the that's the big one right now. Uh, Dallas, right? Dallas, I think is where it's at. Um, but besides that one, I think they're, oh, Anime Boston, right. Anime Boston's also happening. Are they happening simultaneously? Is that what it is? Are they both happening at the same time? Because, right, Anime Boston... Uh, I think Katie's out there. Uh, Katie's at the uh, Anime Boston, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, yeah, she's a really, really awesome... Uh... Oh, yeah, WeebCon is also happening this... Oh, man, so Boston and Texas are getting all the love. That's awesome. Uh, oh, say what's up, Katie? <laughs> yeah, Katie's the bomb. Tell, uh, tell her that her print was actually the first one sold today, which is the OG Yukimaru uh, that she made for me, that she that she rocked in a day. That one was, uh, oh, she's sitting next to you? Yeah, this was the first first sale of the day, was this one. <laughs> but yeah, tell you, still, get, still getting that love, still getting that love. Um, oh, Sarah's in Boston too? Yes, yeah, I mean, well, Sarah's everywhere. Didn't she, like, just get back from Hawaii? Um, cause she was at the, what, Kawaii Con, right? Man, it's just, cons don't stop. Cons don't stop. When it's con, when it's con season, the cons just keep happening. Wow, so Anime Boston's happening right now, and WeebCon. Awesome. Yeah, I was, I was speaking to somebody from WeebCon, uh, that was, uh, setting up, actually, for WeebCon, like, yesterday morning. Cause I think it started yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, man, that's, that's so wild. I have to head out and to, to, to take a talk. 
Oh, do taxes. Ugh. All right, Jen. Have fun with that. Katie stole my phone for that. Oops. Oh. <laughs> nice. She's stealing your phone. That's 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 Katie for you. That's a sly fox right there. Can't trust her. She's gonna steal your phone. Brittany, what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing the streamily thing. See, I'm almost as cool as you. Almost, almost as cool. For those that know, don't know, Brittany is another very good friend of mine. She was Fena in Fena Pirate Princess. I had the absolute pleasure of voicing Yukimaru, um, who was uh, kind of her, her dude uh, by the end of the show. Uh, but Brittany is a fantastic, fantastic talent. You catch her on Fire Emblem. Uh, obviously, she's official in Genshin Impact. She's done a lot of work, but amazing person, amazing person. Definitely check her out. Um, uh, I'm the coolest. Don't listen to Brittany. She's lying. She's the coolest. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, just finished mine yesterday. I'm still recovering. Oh, you just did your taxes? Ugh. Not fun. Taxes stink. That, thankfully, I'm already I, I'm done with them. I, I got them done very early on. I like to get them out of the way so that I know, you know, what, what, how, how much I'm getting destroyed. Because uh, that's the only thing about being an independent contractor is that you're pretty much guaranteed to pay. So it's it's really just like you know what's the damage? It's like what's what's the what's the What's the bill at the end of the year, you know? Um, but it's worth it, you know? It, it is worth it in the end. It's not fun at the time, but, um, you know, it's worth it for uh, the sake of running your own business. You know what I mean? So that's the, be that's the beautiful part of it. You get to run your own business. Oh, man. Everyone's a part of Rob, nice as human. Well, oh, oh, look at this shower of love. Stop it, all of you. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, you guys, you guys are awesome. You're all awesome. But truth be told, I mean, uh, I, I, I will say that in doing voiceover, I have, I have been able to, uh, you know, make really good friends with all the amazing people that you see in the chat. Um, just incredible talent. Um, and it's not something that you, that you really, that, that I got to experience, uh, being a theater actor because you only got to work with the actors in New York. Also amazing actors, but they're all local. Um, and doing voiceover, you're able to interact with and work with fantastic talent across the nation, which is really awesome. And even globally, depending on the project that you're working on. So it's really, really awesome uh, being able to uh, work with such amazing talent, have the opportunity to do so. Uh, oh, I'll see you. I'll see you. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Have a good one and uh, have fun at Anime Boston. If you see anything cool, let me know. Let me know. If you see any Mika stuff, let me know, actually. I'd like to know if, like, Mika's getting out there uh, in the world. So, um, yeah, if you see anything Mika-related, give me a holla. Give me a holla. Let me know. I'd love to check it out. Um, let's see where we're at. Cool. We have a uh, little over 20 minutes. A little over 20 minutes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and then take pictures. Uh, shoot me a DM or uh, tag me on a tweet. Whatever. Whatever you want. Whenever you can. You know what I mean? Make it happen. Uh, Rob, hey, what's up? Pamela, can I still purchase a picture? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You can most definitely still purchase a picture. Um, let me. I'll run through them real quick. Just so you can see everything that's available. You will be able to see them online. Uh, but just also to show you that uh, I do have them all on hand. Um, and you don't even have to wait for shipping because I could just give it to you in person. Uh, so we got this one of Yuki Maru, which is the first big anime character that I got to voice in Fena Pirate Princess. Really awesome one. Really got this uh, super cute chibi Mika. He's looking absolutely adorable, holding an awesome crossbow and polearm, which is really cool. Then we got this one where he doesn't have the polearm or the crossbow, but he's holding his trusty book because he is a land surveyor, as we all know. Then we have this Mika in uh, attack position, which is really cool. Oh, thanks, Twig. I'm glad you're enjoying Mika. Yeah, he's he's a very interesting character. You know, it's like you have to be very specific on how you use them, use him. Um, I know that a lot of people, um, there's been a lot of YouTube videos of uh, folks saying that he's really his best at C6. So if you can, uh, hopefully if you got him C6, uh, that's really um, <laughs> where you did, uh, where, where you're going to get the most out of uh, Mika, which is really awesome. 
Uh, this is Bronx Stone from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Uh, then we also have Professor Diggs from Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. And then um, this 11 by 17 Yuki Mara, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love this one. Love this one. And then um, I do, oh, I do have one more. Um, I have the shoe bell, which is over here somewhere. Let me grab that one. But, um, oh, thank you, Brittany. Awesome. Yes, Pamela. So check out Brittany's um, comment there uh, for, for the link, streamly.com slash Rob Moreira. Thank you, Brittany, for the backup. You're the best tag partner ever. But um, see, this is why Brittany's the bomb. This is why Brittany's the bomb. You know what I mean? She's the fan of the Yukimura, man. She got my back. She got my back. Whoa. But um, yeah, check those out. And uh, the last one, let me pull him out. There it is. And this is the last print that I have available. Is Shubel Quill, which is really awesome. Just signed one of these for my homegirl, Jen. So this is a really nice one. So uh, yeah, Pamela, so if you want, just, uh, yeah, again, streamly.com slash Rob Moreira. And um, you could put anything you'd like me to sign it as, or if you want me to just kind of improv, right, whatever I want, you can do that too. That is not a problem. There we go. Make sure I get my prints there. Uh, I have these all together. There we go. Booyah, booyah. But, um, oh, Danny, I see you. I see you. I know, right? Right? Isn't he the best? Isn't that one so awesome? It's so cool. Awesome. So, Danny, that is for you, my friend. That is for you, my friend. The reason I did a French accent is because Schubel is French. Um, though he doesn't have the, um, <laughs> I just saw what you put in the notes. Write it with a French accent. No problem. <laughs> That's actually really good. I'm glad you put that. Oh, man. But yes, for those that don't know, uh, Schubel is French. Um, but he has a much higher voice. So uh, actually, funny enough, if you want to imagine Mika's voice with a French accent, that's Schubel, basically. <laughs> Uh, no doubt, Brittany. No doubt, Brittany. Thanks for jumping on, dude. Appreciate it. Um, uh, three, five, four. Nine, nine, two. Awesome. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so if you can imagine Mika with a French accent, that's essentially Shoe Bell. You know, so <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, no doubt, Twig. No doubt, Twig. And uh, good luck with that C6 Mika. Hopefully uh, you end up finished pulling for him. Uh, I don't know if the banner event is over yet, but if you could still uh, get a couple more Mikas while you're at it, definitely do it. That's where Mika shines best is at C6. It's like C1 and C6 is like where he's the best. And in the middle, it gets a little muddy. But C6 Mika, that's what you want to gun for. So good luck with that. Ble blessings on your poles, my friend. All right, cool. So this one is for my boy, Danny slash Caterpillio. Uh, let me see. You know what? I'm going to do this in the... Just because it has like the blue and purple kind of aesthetic. You know what? I'm going to go with the light blue for you. I think that, um, I think that'll look dope. I think that'll look pretty dope. But, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, we got... We got about 15 minutes left, folks. 15 minutes left. Um, for the signing. Um, if you still want to get one... If you still want to get a print, again, streamily.com slash Rob with two Bs. Moreira, make sure you check it out. It is also in my link tree. I do have my um, my Streamly shop there. Uh, so if you go to my bio, I have a link tree there, uh, and it and it links to everything. I mean, I have a I have a ton of different links. Uh, so you know, uh, I have my Streamly there, my Instagram, Twitter accounts. Uh, I think my website, my Facebook uh, page is on there as well. 
Uh, oh, thanks, Mike. You like it? Got the nice, like, I think these are hibiscus, right? Hibiscus? Hibiscus? How do you say that? I don't know. Hibiscus. Whatever. Nice Hawaiian flower. Looks quite nice, right? With the white. With the white. White and pink. Yeah. Right? Like I know what I'm doing. Like I know how to dress myself. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, let me get this. Get this ink flowing over here in this marker. And then I will make sure to sound with a French accent. That's what Shoebell sounds like for those that don't know. <laughs> oh, let me see. Yeah, we got about 14 minutes left. Not too much to not too much to go. Not too much to go. Alright. There we go. So yeah, that's what you want to see. You want to see the ink start to flow in there. Alright. Cool. Here we go. To my friend Danny. Alright. Caterpillio. I don't think I've ever said... Yeah, I've never said Caterpillio in the show. Actually, I've only ever said... I think I've only ever said Asana. I don't think I've ever said any other character's name. Oh, and Peach Trap. Peach Trap. Alright. To Danny, Caterpillio, Caterpillio, Caterpillio. My heavy cavalry, cavalry duel club. Friend. Mon Dieu! I don't think he's ever said Mon Dieu, but we will say that he does here. Mon Dieu! And then we will say. And you know what? Since I did it for Jen, I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna throw a little pitch trap. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! There we go. Womp, 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 blink. Booyah. There it is. There you go. That's to my buddy Danny slash Caterpillio. There you go. That's for you, buddy. It's for you, buddy. All right, let me put that one there. And let me put Jen's, which should be dry by now. Yes, it is. We'll put that in the finished file. That's how that one where it goes. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think it that actually came out really nice. It's nice because it kind of blends in a little bit better, so it's not like taking away from it. Like if I did like a dark color, I feel like it would have been too dark and stood out too much. This kind of blends in a little bit nicer. So that is for you, Caterpillio. I hope you enjoy. Nice. Cool. We're going to let that bad boy dry and make that happen. Special request for Bane voice. <laughs> Well, if you want to hear the Bane voice, as you do the Bane voice. Alright, that's about all you're getting. <laughs> I don't, I don't want, I don't want Tom, uh, Tom Hardy coming after me for either doing a very good rendition or, or for doing a terrible rendition, and then he tries to beat me up. You know, you don't know, you don't know with these celebrities. You don't know how they're gonna react. All right. Dope, dope, dope. Cool. Um, I got about 10 minutes left. Who wants to see the tour of the studio real quick? Who wants to see a, see, see a tour? Might as well, right? Over here, if you want to check out the rest of the office, I know you can see these guys right here. Oh, and that right there. If you want, if you're interested in uh, checking out more of the office, let me know. I'll let you, uh, I'll show you all, all my toys. Since we only got... Yeah, since we got about 10 minutes left. I'll show you everything I got. Show you all the goodies. All the goodies in my office. Uh, what Gundam is that? Oh, which one? I have a couple. See, I got all of, all of those are Gundam. So those are, those are all different. Meow. Oh, meow. Hello. <laughs> I assume that means hello in cat. But uh, I'll show you. 
So we got these guys up here. That's the Dynamez right here. That's the Red Ashtray, and that is the Freedom Gundam. And that's the Kyrios. And we got Sandrock. This is the uh, <clears throat> the uh, Gundam Wing. So that's Heavy Arms, uh, Death Scythe. Uh, that's not. He's he's a he's a real great. He's in there. He's he's intruding. He's not supposed to be there. I just put him in there just cause. That's the uh, the uh, total assault. The uh, thunder th thunderbolt, uh, if I'm not mistaken. That is a uh, Exia, but it's in the uh, recycled runners style. It's a one that you can get. And we got the unicorn over here, full assault armor. We got this one. This is a custom uh, a custom. Zaku. Then over here we got the Tall Geese collection. Tall Geese uh, 1, Tall Geese 2 down here, and Tall Geese 3 back there. A couple of bad guys. That's the Sazabi Verka, Zaku, Goof, and that's the uh, Giradoga. I think that was the name of that guy. Then we got the uh, version 3.0 Grandpa over here, RX 78. You got the Barbados. That is the Judge. That is not a Bandai, though. That is a different company. I forgot. They changed their name recently. I forgot their name. Then we got the uh, Rick Dom and the uh, Animation Color Sinan Stein. So that's all of those Gundams. Besides those, then I have uh, one Perfect Grade, but that one's inside my computer. Which is that guy over there. That's the Perfect Grade Exia. And Exia lives inside my computer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Danny, Death Scythe. I also have Death Scythe Hell. I just haven't built him yet. Um, I have a very, I have a pretty extensive backlog underneath my desk. So there's still a couple others that I have to build. But um, but yeah, I got Death Scythe Hell uh, on deck at some point to build. Um, right now, uh, the next one though, that's next on the list to build. I, I I keep one on deck ready to go, just so that when I'm done. With whatever whatever video game I happen to be playing, then that's the next build. Uh, but it's gonna be this guy, the Hyaku Shiki, which is really cool because he is gold plated. So yeah, I'm really excited to build this one. Uh, this one's actually gonna look really dope, as you can see. That's what he looks like. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. So um, really, really hyped to build that one. Very excited to build that one. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what that one ends up turning what turns out to look like. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them But um, I mean I got I got I still got a ton of space and then I got two empty spots at the moment But the idea is is that all of this is going to eventually be nothing but Gundams It's eventually gonna be nothing but Gundams. So right now I got one and two almost full uh, I got some space here uh, Definitely got space for at least two more there um, Shenlong is going in here, who I have. I have Shenlong also in the backlog. And I also got a Wing Gundam uh, Verka and the Wing Zero Verka with the uh, Snow, I think it's called the Snow White um, expansion, which adds more wings to them. So when I build those guys, uh, I don't think they're going to fit in here, but they'll be around. I might put one down here. Actually, I also have Epion, and I'm thinking of putting Epion in there. I got a lot of Gundams. I have a very large backlog of Gundams that I have to build, um, and, but I have them already. I have them. It's just, it, it takes a bit to go through. Um, and then I also got a couple of, uh, I got a couple of Legos here, uh, and then I got my 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 Dragon Ball section over there. So all of these, all of this here is going to end up moving across the office. Uh, you know, I got some space. I got the big, the large Batman over here, uh, and then I got a couple guys up there and stuff. But uh, I'm going to be doing some moving around. I got to figure that out. I'll figure that out. But again, um, let me see. We got about five minutes. We got five, about five minutes left. So if anybody's interested, definitely check out streamly.com slash Rob Moreira um, and if you want to get a print you can absolutely go there and uh, you can get one from there um, it'll be without it won't be live um, it won't be live but it will be um, 
I could do it with a personal video if you choose um, or without a video and I can do it off camera. I could sign that on my own time and then I'll get that sent out to you as well. So um, that's up to you, that's up to you. Um, but again, I'll run through the prints that I have just so you guys can check them out. And then if you wanna order them, you can go ahead and order them on my Streamly store and you can do that from there. Uh, so we'll just run through them real quick. I'm gonna keep them somewhat in some kind of order, keep the Yu-Gi-Oh's together and keep the Mika's together. Um, oh, let me get a let me get another shoe bell real quick. Give me a sec. Whoa, going into my stash. Going into my stash. Look at that. All of those are prints. So I got a lot of them. I got a lot of them on hand. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you uh, you, you 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 dig it. Appreciate it. Um, oh, wrong one. Wrong one. No, nope, not that one. Hold please, hold please. <laughs> there he is. All right, cool. So we'll run through these very quick. So uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the first character that I posted for Yu-Gi-Oh was on Duel Links, which was Bronx Stone. So I have him. And then for the two characters that I have right now uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens, we have Professor Diggs, who has been in a couple of episodes. He is with the uh, Dinosaur Crew. Uh, and that's his main dude, the uh, Super King Rex. And then the one that has been appearing more frequently, part of the Heavy Cavalry Duel Club, we got Shubel Quill, the French boy, with his Braza Beach Trap. Then we got uh, Attack Position Mika, which is really cool. Then we got Mika holding his cartography book. Right? And then we got Chibi Mika with his crossbow and pole arm, looking really dope. I love this one. Very cute. And then, of course, we have a really cool Yukimaru print, which is absolutely phenomenal, done by my home, homie uh, Katie Fox. And then we have this incredibly gorgeous 11 by 17 Yukimaru as well. So if you are interested in any of these, again, Streamly.com slash Rob Moreira. And uh, yeah, you can get any of those anytime, anytime. So if you want it with a video, you can get it with a video. I will do a video and I'll upload it saying what's up and uh, that I appreciate you, um, you know, ordering a print. And, uh, or if you want it without a, um, if you want it without a print, um, without a video, totally fine too. And I can sign it on my own time and head, uh, get that sent over to you. And in the special instructions, of course, uh, I can sign it however you like. Within reason, obviously. Let's keep it PG, folks. But, um, yeah, we got about two minutes, folks. We got about two minutes. Uh, two minutes left of hangout time. If, um... If you'd like me to do this again, I absolutely could. I'm totally chill with that. Um, whether it's a Streamly or if you just want me to do more Instagram Lives just to chat and say what's up, um, I'll happily do that. Um, totally, totally with it. Uh, I like talking to folks and just saying, hey, what's up? And uh, let me know what you think of anything that I've worked on recently. Um, Another, uh, I don't know if anybody's played Wolong, uh, Fallen Dynasty. Uh, definitely check that out. I am in there as well. Uh, I am a boss, I think. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm one of the boss characters pretty early on in the game. But I hear I'm not very, I'm not fun to fight, apparently. Well, I mean, it's, an, it's a difficult game overall. But, um... I hear that I, I'm a little I'm a little difficult to fight, and I and I think I burn a village in like the first couple of minutes of the game. That's pretty awesome. I mean, it's horrible, but it awesome at the same time. You know, it's not every day you get to be a bad guy, so uh, it's kind of nice to 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 be able to do that. So, <laughs> oh man, cool. Uh, oh, and then we just got one in. We just got one in right now. Uh, you know what? Let me do that. You know what, let me do that right now. Actually, while we have these last couple of minutes left, let me, and we got one in for Chibi Mika, yeah! So, this will be the last one for the Streamly Live session. I'll make sure to sign that one now. Um, that's very cool, thank you so much, Pamela, for putting that order in. 
I will have that for you. So when I see you, um, <clears throat> I can hand that off to you uh, in person so that we don't have to worry about the shipping and all that. Okay. So let's do that. Cool. I got some, got some ink flowing. All right. Might be a little light. Maybe I'll do it with the green. I'm going to do it with the green. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Mika is a very fun character. and it, it, he's, We're definitely... I hope I hope we get to see more of him, but I'm sure he's going to be around. Fun. He's, he's a really cool, cool, cool character. Cool. And the last one of the day is officially signed to Fabian, Pamela, and Francisco. The Knights of Favonius recruit you to be land surveyors. Welcome. Very cool. That goes out to you guys. I'll uh, keep that one here just to make sure that it dries. And uh, yeah, and Danny's, yours is nice and dry now, so. I'm going to put that into my finished and completed file. Cool. Awesome. Cool. All right, guys. So that is about it. My time is done here. Hope you had fun. And again, make sure you guys check out Streamly.com slash Rob Moreira. If you want to order some prints, I could do some offline or I could do it with a video. Uh, and until next time, I'll, I will be sure to let everybody know the next time I do a Streamly signing. And uh, yeah, have fun, y'all. Have a good weekend. Happy Easter. Bye.